Good morning, learners of Valenzuela City. Welcome to another fun Arctic and artastic learning engagement. I'm Sir Lester, your arts live streaming teacher. For today's lesson, here in Valenzuela Live, Mape Arts for Grade 6. As always, before we start our lesson, I would like you to comment down your name, school, and section in the comment box for your attendance. Let me remind you again for our arts rule. Letter A, avoid multitasking. Stay focused on the discussion for you to be able to hear every detail that I'm going to discuss. Letter R, react accordingly. Do not send stickers or comments that are not necessary to our discussion. Remember, that your teacher and moderator and even other grade 6 pupils are watching and reading your comments. Letter D, take some important notes too. And last, letter S, sit comfortably. While watching the episode today, it is just an hour to watch the live. So please give to learn at this moment. I hope everyone is guided by the arts rule for us to maintain order during our FB Live class. Attention! For our discussion today, we will focus on this sub-skill competencies in MAPE Arts, and that is to, number one, create a personal or class logo as visual presentation that can be used as a product, brand, or trademark. And last, number two, explain ideas about logo. So I think we are now ready to start. Let us continue the fun of learning Mape Arts at home. Last time, Miss Annabelle discussed the elements of arts or the ingredients in making a creative artwork. As part of review, let's have a game. Try answering this statement. Type the word fact if the sentence is true and fake if the sentence is false. I'll give you five seconds to do it. Again, read each sentence carefully. Number one, a principle of art is the instruction or the direction to help us organize and arrange the elements. Fact or fake? Time is up. The answer is fact. Number two. Graphic artists are the one who create beautiful and creative designs. What is your answer? Time is up. The answer is fact. Very good. Next, number three. A contrast is one of the principles of design that used to create a feeling of action through the work of art. Fact or fake? The answer is fake. It is not contrast. It is texture. And last, on, and number four, a symmetrical balance or asymmetry means that the work of art is the same on one side as the other. What is your answer? Time is up. The answer is fake. Of course, it is symmetrical. And last, number five, commercial art is the art of creative services referring to art created purposes primarily advertising fact or fake the answer is fact wow most of you got all the correct answers good job before I begin the discussion, let's play another game. Identify the picture 
by typing your answer in the comment box below. Again, let's play The Icon Looks Familiar. Can you identify this icon? The answer is Facebook. Wow, number two. What is that icon? Time is up. The answer is Department of Education. Next. I know everyone knows this. Bida ang saya. The answer is Jollibee. Number four. Please type your answer. Very good. The answer is YouTube. And last, number five. You got it right. It is Starbucks. Great. The following sets of pictures or icons are what we call logo. What is a logo? Logo is a graphic mark, emblem, or symbol used to aid and promote public identification and recognition. It may be abstract or figurative design, which includes the text of the name and represents as in a word mark. Logo is a design symbolizing one's organization. It is a design that is used by an organization for its letterhead, advertising materials, and signs an emblem by which the organization can easily be recognized. It has different meanings. They represent signs and symbols in our visual environment. We see them on television, billboards, newspapers, and even magazines. They are printed in clothes, buses, and notebooks. One of the most basic levels of logo is symbol. Its word, font, color, shape, or image in given logos represents something. There are things to consider in making a logo design. We have first, the principle of arts, second, the elements of arts, and the art processes. What is art processes? Art processes describes how art is made. It includes drawing, painting, collage, mosaic, printmaking, um, ceramics, and digital art, furniture design, sculpture, woodworking, and architecture. A logo must have number one, symbol. Symbol brings awareness of the product or services offered by a company. Number two, colors. It creates varied emotions to the customers. Number three, we have words and text. This is the logo for us to easily and remember. We have symmetry and balance that makes unique to the eye of the viewer. Preform shapes or the use of basic shapes. We have the fonts and typeface, um, which speaks a lot about the visual story of a logo. Proportions and sizes uh, that should be effective, look great, and eye-catching. And last is the uniqueness, which must be attractive, meaningful, and lasting. There are different online software that Software tools that can be used for us to create best logo. And here are the following. We have the Adobe Illustrator, the Taylor Brands, the Laughing Bird, the Logo Design Pro, the Logaster, and the Canva. Can you type the word logo in the comment section if you are still listening at this part of this lesson?
Wow! The word logo now in the comment section is flooding. At this point, let's watch this demo video on how to create a logo design using online software called Canva. Welcome to Logo Making Using Canva.
Now, can you create your own logo design using any online software tools? Great! Actually, you can use also offline software tools such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft PowerPoint, or Photoshop. Again, logo design is an important field of graphic art. Like all graphic arts, logo design aims to communicate a message to its viewer. And soon, you will become a logo or graphic designers who attend to the visual presentations of a logo. It is common to see logo designers work as a team. Often, they are commissioned by companies to start a product logo design or project for them. Now, let's have an activity. Heart or like? Here's the direction. Read and analyze each statement carefully. Press the heart emoji if the statement is correct and the like if it is not. Let's have number one. The logo design should be meaningful and meaningful, attractive, and lasting. The answer is nice. It is hard. Next, number two. Forms and shapes have nothing to do with logo, heart, or like. Nice. It is like. Next, number three. Logos can be found in billboards, television, and buses. What is your answer? The answer is heart. Number four, fashion designers are the artists who are experts in visual presentation of a logo. Heart or like? Yes, the answer is like. And last, number five, art processes describe how art is made. Heart or like? Time is up. Definitely, the answer is heart. Congratulations for making it today. Thank you for your active participation. But there are a few things that I want you to keep in mind. Logo is a graphic mark, emblem, or symbol used to aid and promote public identification and recognition. It may be abstracts or figurative design that includes the text of the name it represents as in a word mark. Take note that in creating a logo, it must be simple, memorable, timeless, which stand the test of time, versatile, and appropriate from its purpose. Also, in making a logo design, you can use different online and offline software tools. For our final activity, I want you to get a pen and paper. Then, you are going to identify the correct answer by typing the letters on the comment section after reading all the questions. Are you ready? Great!
comment your answer from items 1 to 5, and your name will be shouted out for the next episode. Time is up, and here are the correct answers. Excellent! For your homework activity, you will make a personal or class logo as visual representation that can be used as product, brand, or trademark. Use any online or offline tool in creating a logo. Also, do not forget to apply the principle of logo design that you've learned today. In the absence of a computer or software, use bond paper, pen, and coloring materials to make your logo design. You may consider this art rubrics. I hope that you've learned so much in this live stream. You can always go back to this discussion if there are parts that you miss. Don't forget to participate in your follow-up discussion tomorrow for more questions and activities that your teacher will instruct you. you may, may I also remind you to browse your self-learning modules in MAPE Arts Grade 6. For today's lesson is on pages 20 to 23 of your module. Again, this is your arts teacher, Sir Mark Lester E. Risma, leaving you with a saying, you cannot spell heart without art. See you Aww. on our next FB Live streaming. Thank you. Enjoy learning online. Until our next meeting, have a great day.